In this lesson, we'll work with estimating products. Here I have the problem 267 times 27. This is where my exact answer would go. However, in this lesson, we're using estimated products. And in this example, we'll go ahead and estimate to the nearest tens place. To estimate to the nearest tens place, we will round each of these factors to the nearest tens place. 267 rounds to 270. 27 nearest tens place goes to 30. And this looks very much like what it is that we were working on yesterday, where we have 270 times 30. or 270 times 3 tens, right? And then so what we'll do is, just like yesterday, we'll take this 3 here and figure out this multiplication problem of the 270 times 3, and then we'll multiply by 10, because that 3 is actually worth 3 tens. 270 times 3 is actually 27 times 3 times 10. And then so we have 10 times 10 here, which is 100, and 27 tripled, which is 81, which is 81 hundreds, or 8,100. 8,100 is our estimated product for this problem. Let's try that again with an estimate to the nearest tens place. So we're estimating the product to the nearest tens place. 314 rounding to the nearest tens place is 310. And 19 rounded to the nearest tens place is 20. And remember that we are multiplying. So we have 310 times 20. Breaking this down, we have 310, so we have three hundreds plus one ten times two tens for our estimated product there. And remember, distributive property, two tens times the three hundreds, we get two times three. Hundreds times ten, which is ten hundreds, which is one thousand plus 110 times 2 tens, so that's 1 times 2 times 100 then, because that's 10 tens. And so we have, let's see, that's 6,000, plus 1 times 2 is 2 times 100 is 200, we get 6,200. Using the standard algorithm, that would be much the same way, where it is we would place a 0, Multiply 2 times 0, which is 0, 2 times 1, which is 2, and 2 times 3, which is 6. Out of that 6,200, our estimated product for the exact answer of 314 times 19. The exact answer is 5,966. And as you can see, our estimate is higher than the actual product. The reason that that is, is that we have actually gone a whole factor up here so that we actually have one more 310 than that there, although we did go and round that first factor down. But our answer is about, looks like it's about 234 away. From that estimate. Let's work out another problem. 2,127 times 87, and again we'll estimate to the tens place. And in estimating to the tens place, we round each of those factors. 2,127 is close to 2,130 times 87, which is close to 90. And we'll notice, just to think about it, that we've actually increased this factor by 3, meaning that we, if we multiply that by this, 
our estimate is actually going to be about 6,000 more than our actual answer still. Breaking down 2,130 times 90, that's 2,000s plus 100 plus 30, which is 3 tens. And we're multiplying that by 9 tens. Distributive property, 9 times 2 is 18, and that's tens times thousands, which is 10,000, plus 9 tens times 100, we get 9 times 1 to begin with, and then we get 10 hundreds, which is a 1,000, plus 9 times 3, which is 27, 10 tens, which is 100. So we get 27 hundreds, which equals 18,000 plus 9,000 plus 2,700, which is 2,700. Our answer is 27,000 plus 2,700, which does equal 29,700. And that answer, of course, is our estimated product of those, <clears throat> and that's our estimate for 2,127 times 87. What would happen if we only estimated and rounded one of those factors? Would our estimate become more precise or less precise? Think about this, go to the tens place, we would have 4,730 times 17. Using our standard algorithm, we get, first we go 4,730 times the 7 here. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 3 is 21. 1 regroup a 2. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 2 is 51. 1 regroup a 5. And 7 times 4 is 28. Plus 5 is 33. Cross out those regroups. Next, I'm working with this 1, which is worth 10. That's why I place a 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 7 is 7. And 1 times 4 is 4. If I add those two together, this is what I get. Eighty thousand four hundred ten as my estimated product. As you see, my answer actually is just, let's see, it should be... That went up by 2, and then this stayed at 17, meaning that it should only be 2 times 17 away, which is um, 34, which, let's check, let's see if that's actually the case. Did my first step of the multiplication of 4,728 times 17 there for the exact answer, and the second step I have to place a 0, and then it's 4, 7, 2, 8, because I am just multiplying by 1 there, which is really worth 110. Adding those together, 7, 1, 3, 0, 1, 7 plus 1 is 8. And as you can see, our estimated product is 34 away from our exact answer. Now, the other way that I'd shown earlier is 4,730 times 20 which in a way is easier to figure out because all you have to do is take 473 times 2 or 473 doubling it, which is 946. However, that estimate there of 94,600, you see, is not quite as accurate or precise or as close as that other answer, which you have to realize is that you did go up 3 here if you went to the tens place from 17 to 20. So our actual answer is about 3 times 4,700 or 3 times um, that higher. So you have to think how it is that an estimate would compare to the actual product. If you are going to use an estimate to check, you have to think whether or not that your answer is reasonable. 
Why don't you try with an estimate? Go ahead and round each of the factors to the nearest tens place, and then figure out an estimate. And while you're doing that, go ahead and figure out an exact answer for this problem as well. 386 rounds to. All right, 390. 19 goes to 20. And then for our estimate, if we place a zero there, because we're multiplying by two tens, two times zero is zero, two times nine is 18, eight regroup a one, two times three is six, plus one is seven, we have 7,800. That is 39 times two times 10 times 10. We had that 39 times 2 times 10 there, and that 2 times 10 there. If we were to break that down, to think how it is that place value helped us to figure out that estimate. For our exact answer for this problem, 9 times 6 is 54. For a regroup of 5, 9 times 8 is 72, plus 5 is 77. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 is 34. Did you get that first number right? Place a zero, because that one is worth 10, and then we have 386 there. Four, three, one, three, one, seven. 7,334 as my exact answer, and it makes sense since I went up with each of those factors. We have about 400 away for sure, and then it's a little bit more because I went up with that factor as well, the 386 to 390. It is possible to estimate to different places, and I'll show you two more examples. We have 317 times 87. 317 is close to 300. 87 is close to 100. And so if we have 300 times 100, we're talking about 300 hundreds, or 300 times 10 times 10. 300 times 10 already is 3,000, and 3,000 times 10 is 30,000. So 300 times 100 is 30,000, which is our estimated product for 317 times 87. For our other problem there, 419 times 387, 419 goes to 400. 387 also goes to 400. And if we multiply those two together, 4 times 4 is 16. And then I have 100 times 100, which is 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros there. And then so I get 160,000 as our estimated product. Our actual product here is 162,153. I used a calculator to figure that out. And the other product for 317 times 87 was 27,579. So we can think again how it is that the actual <coughs> product compared with the estimated product. In this case, we took one of the factors down a little bit, but we increased the other factor by quite a bit. And in this case, we took one down and one up, and that's why our estimate is actually fairly close. We went up and down by the same amount within each of those, about the same amount in each of those factors. So that there is estimating products.